Dawn thins the dark. Shapes flow over grass like spilled ink breaking into streams. A half moon of runners drifts wider, then cinches tight around a nervous herd. One animal angles left without looking. Another slows to open a lane. A third cuts across a gap that wasn't there a heartbeat ago. The air fills with thin trills and breath. Dust lifts, bodies pivot, and the circle tightens again. Whatever this is, it reads as African predator cooperation tuned to terrain. A moving algorithm that trades distance for certainty and turns pack hunting efficiency into a weapon. Savannah pans out in tawny plains, thorn scrub, and riverine bends where shade pools at noon. Pups tumble at den mouths while attendants shuttle meat from far off kills. Adults travel far, stringing water holes into loops that change with seasons. Hunts launch in the cool hours and run long. The quarry varies. Impala, gazelle, sometimes larger. Social bonds run deep. Greetings explode into high-pitched chatter. Faces pressed, white tails flagging. Only when the pattern resolves does the name fit the choreography. African wild dogs, painted wolves of open country, whose success rate, often cited as 70 and 90 percent in optimal conditions, comes from how they move as one. African wild dog hunting is less a sprint than a solved problem repeated under different skies. Here is the paradox exactly as asked. How do African wild dogs synchronize complex strategies in real time without a leader calling commands? There is no shouted order on the wind, yet flanks appear where they must. Relays swap in at the front as others peel off to breathe. A pursuer predicts a juke before the prey commits. GPS collars show packs, fission and fuse, cutting the landscape into lanes, then collapsing those lanes onto a single point where an intercept will occur. Aerial footage reveals rolling handoffs every tens of seconds, with angles that seem pre-computed. Calls thread the chaos. Contact who notes when a hunter drifts, bird-like twitters when a gap opens. But bodies do most of the talking. Ear sets, tail flags, and head cants mark intent. The choreography looks leaderless yet precise. The kind of emergent order that makes painted wolf team work feel impossible to explain until the parts click. Three hypotheses lead the conversation. First, simple rules. Local decisions scaling to global strategy. Each hunter matches speed to the nearest packmate, keeps a buffer on one side, and aims for the prey's shoulder or escape line rather than its center. Those rules, run in parallel, yield a net that flexes and narrows. Models predict that such Boyds-like rules can produce the crescents and scissors seen in wild dog prey strategy. The trade-off is brittleness. When visibility drops or brush thickens, local cues degrade and the net frays. Still, in open ground, the fit is strong. Second, dynamic quorum and readiness signaling. Before a hunt, packs often rally, whirling greetings broken by sneeze-like expulsions. Studies indicate these sneezes can function as votes to depart, with fewer required when high-status initiators participate and more when they do not. During chases, brief vocal bursts may serve as micro-quorums to shift tactics, press, split, or swap runners. The advantage is fast consensus without stopping. The cost is noise that could alert prey, so signals stay thin and high. Third, role learning and metabolic economy. Individuals differ. Some excel at long, even pace. 
others at short bursts or cutoffs through scrub. Painted wolf teamwork may assign roles on the fly, based on who is freshest and best positioned, not rank. Rotating the spear point prevents overheating and preserves speed. Escort runners patrol the flanks to deflect turns. Tail riders keep pressure when the front tires. Scientists still debate how fixed these tendencies are across lifetimes, and nobody knows why certain packs sustain near-perfect strings while neighbors falter with the same prey. Experience, kinship, and habitat likely tune the mix. Mechanics make the strategy visible. The white tail tip flicks as a beacon through grass. Oversized ears triangulate breath and hoof beats. Long legs and light frames trade raw power for endurance and heat shedding. African wild dog hunting leans on this physiology to keep contact after the first rush, when other predators would break off. When the quarry veers for brush, a pair is already there. When it commits to open ground, the relay resets and the pace returns to neutral, a grind that erodes options. African predator cooperation turns the landscape into a partner. Termite mounds as pick points, gullies as funnels, dust as a veil when the sun drops. Information moves in layers. Vision carries the near field. Sound and scent maintain the far field. Memory stitches yesterday's chase into today's route choices. Packs learn where herds like to break and plant runners there two breaths ahead of time. Aerial tracks look untraceable in the moment, but align with a mental map revealed over weeks. Favored cut-throughs, reliable crossings, ambush-friendly slope lines. The map is shared not by lecture, but by repetition. Pups watch, then run shorter legs. Success breeds copies, failures vanish. The ledger is not all triumph. Tall grass steals sightlines, broken ground steals ankles, a wrong wind broadcasts intent. Lions and hyenas tax victories. Water ends lines cold. Even so, pack hunting efficiency remains high because the system is elastic. If a plan cracks, a new one forms on contact. Calls renit the line. A flanker becomes the spear. A stumble becomes a cue to split the prey from the herd and start a second net. Over time, the habit of recombination has been rewriting what we thought we knew about coordination without command. The light hardens, heat builds. A circle becomes a spiral, the distance between arcs closing with each pass. The quarry stumbles, then folds. Pups will eat first, elders stand guard. The pack's low voices thread the grass. Can teamwork alone make you nature's most efficient predator? The evidence points toward yes, but the heart of it still keeps its secret. Whether decisions rise from simple rules, quick votes, or years of shared roots, the effect is the same. A moving mind made of many bodies. If herds shift ranges, if brush thickens, if disease thins numbers, the dance may blur. For now, the engine holds, and the outcome feels inevitable until it is over. A certainty that arrives, and then has already vanished into the savannah.